Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another Rome 2 Siege Battle for you today and just as some poor guy gets sniped out there and this is the final Siege of Siege Week I hope you guys have enjoyed, if you have then please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here and leave a comment to show your support so we have a 3v3 uh, close, very very close Siege Battle I'm told we have Egypt, Athens and Mastodon attacking against the Seleucids another Egypt and I'm not actually quite sure what the other one is. Uh, it might just be another Seleucid. I'm 100%, not 100% sure. But the defenders, uh, I've got a massive balance of power advantage, I'd say. I'd say it's definitely in favour of them, which is never a good sign. Um, but we've got a Mastodon here already landing on the walls. Uh, thorax swords against Silver Shields. Um, you imagine the Thorax will eventually uh, lose this one. Interesting that Silver Shields are already up on the walls. That's, they're a, a very elite unit. You want to send something a bit cheaper up, maybe fly on the walls. Um, we've got a huge, massive infantry behind here of the Seleucids. Um, yeah, they've got Thorax Swords here that should, really should be keeping in reserve. But, I mean, look at this. You, you can see Deployables getting ready. They've got Sharp Stones everything. They've got a wall of Tortoises about to knock down stuff. I don't think all of these will knock down stuff to start with because if they're already close to each other then usually one bugs out or a couple bug out so we'll see what happens but Athens on the attack is a very interesting choice especially since it's a very um, spear heavy faction they've only got like thorax swords as their real only sword unit there you go you can see there like that one falling down means that this won't fall this one won't get knocked down now so it's never a good idea to bring like a load of tortoises and put them all together because now the next one here will probably work. This one won't. This one will. This one won't. Um, and I'd certainly like move like these siege towers here. Some on the flanks of each side. Like three on this spot here is just no need. You might as well have one. But all the attackers are... I mean these two are sort of attacking together. These... Uh, this Egypt on his own. He's on his own and he's facing off another Egypt player. I'm going to say there's got to be two Egypt armies here. For the defenders, there is a lot of Egyptians on the map. Like one, uh, one attacking and two defending, almost. I think it must be. Um, but yeah, so we've got Royal Peltas going up onto the walls already. They're going to be firing out. Um, already, these Royal Thorax swords got rinsed. It would seem um, they did a really good job of clearing them out. Um, just with their own Royal Thorax, it seems. And it looks like yeah, Peltas is going up already. This is turning into a bit of a chaotic one. Um, and I think. Oh, sorry. I think. I saw artillery firing. I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure I saw artillery firing because there's a lot of shaking going on around here. But I could be wrong. Could just be somewhere else along the line. They do have artillery here, do the Ro uh, Romans. No Romans in this. Uh, the Greeks. Uh, well, Egyptians. Jeez. I've had like, I don't know, a small nap today. And it's boggled my brain clearly um but anyway we've got um actually this one all worked these ones all worked in fairness there's only two that didn't work out of the six so that's pretty good but i mean still sending picked hoplites through these gaps here i don't think it's going to be very successful mastodon's off the walls already and he's fallen into a load of traps uh around the gate i don't like when deployables get used because i think already the defenders have a lot going for them they don't really need the extra traps um, but as you can see here, we've got a nice flank by uh, the Seleucids. I presume it's the Seleucids. Oh no, this is Egypt over here. Yeah, there's definitely two Egypt players. Um, yeah, so Egypt's now surrounding the Macedonians. And that's probably going to see these uh, Royal Peltas finished here, to be honest. I don't actually... Well, yeah, I'm presuming that, yeah. Oh no, the Thorax. I, no, the Shield Bearers in. That's why I was getting them mixed up. Shield Bearers as well. I was getting a mix up because Royal Pelters, I'm pretty sure, have the same circular shield. And I can see guys with Javis. Don't actually think um, they brought any Royal Peltas. They brought Companion Cav. That'll be useful. Um, Thorax Souls actually are winning on this wall. Wow, they actually beat the Silver Shields. That's unusual, but I guess they may have had the help of these Cre Cretans. Um, yeah, if I was, uh, I would certainly be setting up the artillery like they are. Mastodon is taking it slowly. He's got his heavy Greek Onager already in here. Uh, well, not in here, but like firing. I'd be manly firing at all these lines. Hit shield bearers. If there's pikes here, hit the pikes. Go for the generals, not a bad idea. Bit cheesy, early game, but might as well. It's a pretty tough defense. And you put them right there at the walls. 
Um, okay, over here we've got more Egyptians off the walls already, and they're facing straight into a pipeline already. And they're going to get skewered. Uh, they are going to be kebabbed. Poor guys. Yep. They, they, oh my god, what are they, they're getting Javi them as well? Where from? Oh, the thorax in the back. If it wasn't an, oh, like bad enough being impaled on a pike, getting impaled by a javelin as well. It's just overkill. Save your ammo, uh, other Egypt, for more Egyptians that have yet to come in. Like, they've got a lot on the wall, actually. Lots of royal pearl tasks. Uh, they've got royal thorax still on here. The Royal Thorax are losing decisively, jeez. Um, hopefully they're getting archers up here. Are they setting their archers up? Oh, yeah, they are, but the Cretans are just rin getting rinsed. I mean, they these guys are only just starting to be fired at. Uh, they really need to fire, like, get all their focus to fire, kill those archers. Then they can go, like, down the line here and kill anything. Because they've still got, I mean, they've got a lot of archers in reserve. But if they're going to send them up one by one, that's a mistake by the attackers. You send them up all at once. You annihilate the opponent's archers, and then you, uh, well, go after anything else. But, I mean, it looks like they're already out of ammo. Like, these ones here, out of ammo, they've got their swords out. These ones are retreating now. I don't know where the rest of Egypt's archers are. Back here, he's got more uh, Cretians and light peltasts. Interesting to see what can be done there. But, I mean, they cleared up that attack there quite easily. Egypt got, well, well and truly mopped up. And then over here, you can see the same thing's happening to Mastodon. He's been forced off the gate back from the gate. Um, he's got one unit in here still. He's got some Thorax swords trying to hold the line, but I mean this time the Thorax are not going to beat the Silver Shields. Uh, clearly on the on the wall they had a chance in this little, like, I don't know what you call this, entrance? They don't. I think there's Royal, uh, oh not Royal, there's the Shield Bearers also trying to get down. They're getting focused on. As you can see here Seleuce is doing the correct thing to do, like getting all his archers up and he's going to focus down people on the walls so it's going to be the shield bearers and luckily coming straight off the towers and then getting shot by well hundreds of arrows from the, the Syrian heavy archers you could even go for like support this uh, silver shield sword here and um, that's like losing in combat fight uh, shoot these two here these shield bearers and thorax you might give these uh, silver shield a chance but they're also getting focused down by Cretan archers as well there's so many Cretan archers on the battlefield today um, seeing the Syrians is a nice little change. And there you go, more Cretans. Oh, these Egyptians, actually. Ah, we have Egyptian archers. Yes, even more variety. Excellent. Uh, not very good, though, <laughs> compared to the Cretans, but nice to see variety, I guess. Interesting to see when Athens will eventually strike, whether he w when he'll go through this uh, breach here. I mean, this is like going through the ancient version of the Somme. And as I say that, the orders are given, and it looks like there's going to be picked hot plates going through. Are they going in hoplite formation? They are going in hoplite formation, by the looks of it. Um, certainly here they'll have success. Shield bearers against thorax swords. Oh my gosh, they're triple gold chevron. They're not all chevroned up, but some of them were. Have they got more on the walls here? No, just the one unit. Oh no, they have got two on the wall. They did stick one on the corner and then one here. So that's a, okay, a fairly good tactic. That'll surround them and kill them off a bit quicker. But, I mean, yeah, this is like the Somme. And here they come. They're getting absolutely focused down by all the Javis. I don't think they're going to break through. Spears versus swords. And when you're attacking with spears, never goes well. That's why Sparta is such a bad faction to use while, uh, while attacking. And he's just kind of forced an opening there, in fairness. Wasn't really a push through. Kind of just parted the seas. This Thorax sword unit, like... There's a gap here and just found a way through. Uh, over here he's blobbing. This is not good. Kind of want to spread out these forces. I mean, luckily there's no archers over here, like in any vicinity, to kind of punish him for this. Thoros Spears, I'd definitely be trying to get these guys round here. I know it would take a long time, but these uh, Thorax swords are now engaged. Get these Thoros to flank around. Uh, they'll be fighting like shield bearers and stuff, but you can stretch this line. Again here, Thoros Spears go through this gap here. You can uh, surround these Thorax Swords. And uh, certainly the archers need to go up and get a bit closer. I mean, I think he's going to use every Javi for his Thorax Swords before he's sending them in. Not the worst idea. Um, I mean, most of the Thoros Spears are... Well, you can see that. Look, they're throwing into their own men, probably. A lot more than they're actually killing 
them. This is also it's an awful place to fight for me. I'm just looking. There's so many trees and bushes. So I do apologize if a tree or a bush just appears and you're like in the view. Blame blame the players. They should have played in a more I don't know less built uh, bushy area. I don't know. Veg area with vegetation. But um, it does look like Masson's going to lose here. I don't think piling troops down this like area here is really the best idea. Get your archers up and take out the Egyptian archers. Then just go for all their stuff here. Like you can see Seleucid marching up Thorax Pikes and more Thorax Pikes. They're also a good target to go for. Like, Seleucid's Seleuc ready, like, for anything else that comes in. Like, Macedon. Macedon's finished. What happened? Like, Egypt and Macedon. Uh, I think it was, like... Well, Egypt's got a bit left. Egypt's got a lot on the wall still. Egypt might knock out this Egypt player. I don't know. He's got a lot over here. He's going to need to do some absolute work with his uh, Glacian Royal Guard. Which he might. I mean, there's Thoros Spears. They've thrown a lot of their elite stuff up onto the walls as this Egyptian player. But he's looked like... The attacking Egypt is like surrounded in the blue, as you can see here. Looks like he's uh, losing them nearly every front. And these Glacian Royal Guard are holding their ground. But, yeah, I mean, Athens has got to get a move on get over here. But you can see, like, the defenders are sending as much of their reserves over here because they can see what Athens is going to do. And here we go. It looks like Masson's going to pull through with his cavalry, which is a bit dubious. That certainly was a... That line has certainly not fallen over for them to do this. So, yeah, he shouldn't be doing that. I'd uh, be a big no-no there from me. But, I mean, they're going to need it. I think Masson's done a really bad job. Of, like, I don't think attacking his Masson's ever a good idea. I don't think attacking his Athens is ever a great idea. You need more sword-heavy factions, and sadly, like, Mastodon has, like, one. I think Athens has also just has one. But as you can see here, Companion Cavalry, I don't know what they're doing. They've boxed themselves in now. They're going to just charge into the back of where they came. Not a bad idea. Um, they have done actually quite a lot of damage there, but... Yeah, they ba they've boxed themselves in, and now they, they can't get out. Basically, Royal Guard all setting up. What have we got here? The Pikes getting ready. I mean, the Pikes aren't. Oh no, the Pikes are uh, up or sort of. They are out, so they could get them down. But I mean, yeah, Masson's finally got his archers up onto this wall. It's the only thing that he's been doing able to do really well with. And focus down these Pikes. Kill every single one of these Pikemen. Um, I don't know what Athens is doing back here with his Pikes. Get those Pikes up as well. I think most of the archers have been spent. By uh, by Seleucids, they've and Egypt, they've murdered Macedon on that wall. Athens is having a real issue here, though. He's, I mean, he's just not going to get any like really quick initial breakthroughs. I mean, he might get uh, Seleucids general here. That could be huge. He's losing decisively. But he's not going to get any like major quick breakthroughs. I mean, he's actually broken through here. But he's just going to... They're just being replaced by pikes. Which is, if anything, worse. Um, I think, yeah, they broke like some shield bearers here. Which I did say this would be the only area that I think they'll get immediate success. Swords versus spears. And they're attacking. Are the swords. Um, but they're just, yeah, replaced by pikes. I mean, they can get round. I definitely would be trying to get the pike, uh, the swords round here. And surrounding... And then the same on this side. They've got Thor Spears here as well. These guys have rallied from somewhere. Get these guys and start charging um, at the pikes. Also the cavalry. Just use that on the back of the pikes. That's a much better use of it than charging the back of these lines here. I mean, they're doing a good job. They're doing okay, is Athens. But I think he's lost too much. And Macedon's just finished. I mean, it's far too early for Macedon to be out. Egypt is actually starting to change, like... Balance power up here on this wall. I'd say, yeah, most of these units here are losing. Uh, for like defending Egypt, he probably needs probably needs to send some stuff over here to help out. Uh, does the attacking Egypt? This poor Galatian Royal guy is not doing so hot. What's he got on the walls here? Thoros spears. Did he bring any pikes? It doesn't look like it. I'd send his last Thoros spear up. His general is uh, also look like he's getting ready to come up soon. I don't know what's happening with the artillery. 
either, if anything, maybe make a breach somewhere with your artillery, maybe here. Just undo all of Egypt's work. Then you can send, like, a couple of elite units down here, because they've not got much in the way of elite stuff left. They've got Galatian Swordsmen, pretty pants. Thorax Swords, uh, are these guys still trying to get up? I think they are still trying to get up. Okay, so they're all spears then. They're not going to stop much. And then we've got Glacian Rogado here. It's the only unit that you probably have to concern about. See here, we've got, I presume this might be Glacian, more Glacian Swords. About to go around, and they're going to sur surround their brothers here on the wall. Can't see them at the moment. They've gone out of uh, view, apparently. I don't know how. If, like, one Glacian turned his head around, he'd see, like, a whole new fresh unit coming up. And he'd be like, oh, they look like us. Wait a minute. They are. Oh, that, that's my brother there. Or something. I don't know. But it does look like uh, that unit's going to get uh, killed off, and then this, that's another two units freed up for Egypt to just kind of throw back in here. I mean, these Cretans need to do a lot of work, and soon, like, I mean, they've got to kill all these uh, other Cretans. I mean, they might. There's 2v1. They really should. I say. Oh, this actually, no, it's 2v2. They've got Egyptian archers here. They should rout them as well. Uh, Athens, who's kind of the only one that's really waving the flag of possible, I don't know, success. Is uh, he's doing okay. I say the Mastodon's out. He's still got a couple of units of like shield bearers fresh. Get these guys off the corner. What are they all doing up here? Get these men off and get them down here. Like you can get around here. Look at this. Like these swords here for Athens. You just go in here, take out these archers, and then get around. The defenders are actually looking a bit thin now. I mean, I say that as, like, two Glacian Royal Guards just appear out of nowhere, and they're like, ha. Issues sorted. They've got so many Glacian Royal Guard. This is ridiculous. I mean, they're Thorax Swords, but there is some Glacians there as well. And we've got... I mean, yeah, you can see here, like, these Thorax Spears are just never going to get through. These Thorax Swords. Um, there's a gap here in the line they need to take advantage of. There's pick top lights here that are just doing nothing. Um, just got to keep an eye. Like, they've got Cav here, Hippius Lancers. Get them through. Start going for stuff. Like, these Hippias Lancers can get through this gap here. Go around. And there's all these uh, archers and stuff over here you can go for. I mean, they've actually got Thorax Swords up on this, uh, on this wall here now. I don't know why they're here. I guess they will beat these Thorax Swords and they'll beat all these archers, but there's more Glacians ready for them. And more archers. I can't even see... I think Seleucus General might be dead as well. He was fighting. We do... If you remember, he was fighting here. He had like 64 men, and he was losing decisively. But yeah, Athens, I mean, credit to him, has done a good job in, like, uh, getting through. I mean, it must be a painfully slow advance. Like, I mean, hot plates on the assault is just never quick, and it's never efficient. Swords versus spears, this is never... Oh, here we go, artillery. What's it trying to do? What is it trying to do? I think it's trying to go for this unit back here. If anything, I'd just knock a hole in the wall here. Then deny these units coming across. But, I mean, all they have to do is go down and come up somewhere else. It's kind of still a waste. I mean, this over here needs to be freed up soon by the uh, attacking Egyptian player. Like, there's so many uh, so many units here. I mean, there are quite a lot of them are beaten up. Like, this is just a mess on this wall here. Who Who's on whose side? How can you tell? You couldn't, really. I bet that was like a common theme in a lot of these battles, especially like the Hellenic ones. Unless you're like really distinctive, like Sparta and you're red. Or maybe, I don't know if Athens were typically in blue, they probably weren't. It's just for total war. Um, but yeah, you probably couldn't tell because they're all like wearing similar sort. You're all wearing like the same helmets from um, Alexander's period, really. And the same armor and the same sort of style of fighting. You just be like, like whose team are you on? Um, sort of thing. Like, whose side are you on? We've got Thorax, uh, Thoros Spears now coming up here. They're going to flank these Galatian Spears, uh, Swords, sorry. And, uh, yeah, that's actually going to massively help. I don't know why they didn't think about doing this earlier. Um, they can surround these Galatians, and then they can just force way through here, and they can free up all this. Then they can go after what's left down here. I mean, they've got some cavalry down here as well. They might want to use that somewhere. I don't know. Go after some of these archers out here, possibly. I mean, they still got their cavalry here of uh, Athens, so it probably wasn't the wouldn't be the wisest of moves. Um, but it's worth a try. You've got to gamble in total war, and I mean, I don't know how this has happened, but the Macedonian archers have been caught, 
And now we've got Galatians coming in. I'm not, I'm not quite sure how this happened. I thought this was the one flank that I thought they had sorted out. They had so many. Oh, God, it's all in here. That's why. Okay, I've gone from saying Athens was doing well to changing my mind again. This one is... I mean, that's why it's probably super close. Because it constantly changes sides on who's going to do well. I mean, these sides aren't even fighting. They just look at each other. You don't need three units here to look at a couple more units, really. But, um... I'd certainly say that Athens is in a pretty sticky position here. Mastodon needs to get his troops in. These pikes need to get start mobilizing. There's no need to have them still out here. Like most of the ammo for both sides now has been used up. You can see, you can tell because there's archers now going up onto a wall to try and fight. Oh, they're not even on a wall. They're fighting shield bearers down here. Twenty shield bearers. Get these thorax down here. Help fight. Give these guys a chance. Um. Oh, right, they're falling back because Athens is sending his cavern. It's not a bad charge. Not a bad thing to go after these guys. I'd still be trying to go after archers and, like, light stuff. I still don't think cabs, like, it's not worth going after the thorax swords. They're very heavy, surprisingly, to this day. Um, going after something like, I don't know, weakened units is a good idea. But I can't see many. If you can find any Galatian swords, kill them as well. We've got shield bearers here for Seleucids. I'm surprised Seleucids is still on the map, really. He's lost his general. And here we go. The final assault uh, by those shield bearers. They're probably not coming out of there alive. The Hippias Lancers are, in the, as you can see, in the back there. And, oh, they are coming in here. I did not think they were going to do that charge. That was a very quick and decided charge. I don't even know. I hate the walls sometimes. Yeah, I don't even think that's really made a difference. Like, that shield bearer is losing decisively, but that's it. Hippias Lancers are winning decisively, though. Don't know who against. But the Galatians actually didn't enjoy that charge, in fairness. Yeah, I don't know what the Cavs are really doing in here. Uh, it needs to go over here and just help with this fight. If you... This is a lot of weak units here. And archers. Um, these thorax need to get in here as well. If you can get this uh, cavalry in here, which is finally doing. It's finally going in this direction. Go over here. You can kill these guys. Then you can go after these archers. And then you're inside the city walls. Like, properly. Go after the final cat point if you want. If you fancy it. Um, but yeah, here you go. The cavs finally going after archers. It's finally going to do some actual damage. Um, yeah, these guys losing decisively. There you go. A huge route there. That's massive. Uh, for the attackers. That's three units gone. And that's basically freed up this area. And that's made it a real issue to then defend. Because these guys are now in the back. So if they want to carry on defending here, the Egyptians. They're going to have to face Athens in the front. And what remains of Macedon. And a bit of Athens and a bit of Macedon there. And that's like what it's going to come down to, really. It's going to come down to here. There's not going to be any fighting anywhere else. Egypt over here. Uh, he's having a fun time. Uh, just fight on these walls. He just keeps going backwards and forwards on these walls, fighting stuff. Um, how is Archers? Oh, he's got Light Peltas now. Well done by Egypt. I mean, I actually... I, I'm going to say that Egypt's done a really good job in looking after... Like, this Egypt here's done a really good job in looking after his missiles. I mean, this unit uh, is not going to have as much, I would say, like Archers. Um, but, like, he's been slowly incrementing them, bringing them up. And, like, I guess this... Egypt players been firing like most of his ammo at one unit, which usually works, I find. Um, you usually don't have ammo for much else, but so maybe he's not saved ammo for like thinking, oh, there'll be more archers and stuff. But I mean, balance power looks like he's gone back to normal. It looks like um, I'd say the defenders are in the ascendancy again, and I would probably say that I think uh, whatever happened over here in this uh, this like tower here. I mean, there's like a tiny unit of thorax there. Oh no, royal guard. Um, but I don't think like enough survived there to give uh, Egypt that's attacking a good enough chance. I don't know. The generals come up here. And they are actually now, as I say, that they're routing more Egyptians. It's going to be really close. It is going to be really, really close. I don't know where G Egypt's general is. Over here. I don't know if both are here. I haven't seen the other Egyptian general. But yeah, you can see here they've freed up a lot of stuff now. And this cavalry needs to just go around and start harassing anything. Oh yeah, no, this is, oh no, that's Athens' general. Why has he got his hippiest lance in here? This is a silly risk he shouldn't be making. Athens is literally the only reason why the defenders are still alive. And they're back to square one here. They're just looking at each other uh, as they're going to just sort of snipe each other. It's not a bad idea. 
Um, if you can do, like, be quite proactive with these units, do a lot of stuff, get a lot of kills, while keeping a lot of this army just looking at you for no reason here, um, that could do do really well. I mean, I certainly use this cavalry, I charge into these Thoros spears, I go around and support other Egypt, possibly with the cav, probably would be the one thing I'd do. But it looks like we're going to have a charge here from this uh, Hippias Lancer into these Thoros spears. Not a bad idea. They're a medium spear, so as long as he charges them in the rear or the side, you should do okay. Or like this. This will do probably quite fine. I mean, he's kind of charged it. <laughs> he kind of missed the unit, actually. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't say that was the greatest of charges. It's still a fairly fresh unit. And there you go. Look at that. They're going to pull back. Athens needs to go in now. Um, catch these final units out of here. Send like send a couple of units here, block this area with pikes, then go in with archers and surround these units or something like that. But they're really sick of this cavalry. And this is Cranian Axeman. Oh, this is a must for uh, Athens to save ammo for. Like, even with gold chevrons, Cranian Axeman. Don't do so well when they're being shot by arrows. Just save ammo for these guys. Um, Glacian Royal Guard left. Got Thorax Swords. Egypt's looking pretty beat up here. Oh, this Egypt player. He's still got some Glacian Royal Guard with good health left. I mean, though. This cavalry, though, needs to be careful. This general cannot be charging in stupidly. It's Thoros Spears, end of the day. It's not worth charging and losing your general for. I've got Roll Pelter stuff here. So this is where the other Egyptian general was. I couldn't find him. But it's gonna be, this fight's going to go down to the death. And I think uh, I think Defender Athens is going to take it mainly because he's got, like, missiles left. And he's got, I don't know. I don't know. I say that and then I'll I'll change my mind when these two units here route what's ever left down here probably. They need to do it quickly if they're going to do it. Here we go. Throw our spears into archers. There'll only be one winner here. The throw our spears will probably just impale every single one of these archers in a matter of seconds. Yep. Matter of seconds and they're all gone. I've already forgotten what the headdress was for the, the name of the headdress. Someone said it in the comments in one of the past battles for the Egyptians. I've already forgotten what it was. It was like a... It began with a B, I'm pretty sure. But I can't remember. I'm going to have to remember that. Uh, I think this Glacian Royal Guard is going to go onto the wall to save itself from these two units. It is. It's going to save itself from these two units by going onto the wall. Um, the general here, the Royal Thorax, is still looking fairly fresh. Look at this mess on the wall. I hate wall fighting for this reason. It's so messy. It's so hard to tell what's going on. We've got all sorts on this wall here. We've got light peltas. They won't hold the line. Um, and then we just got Royal Thorax and stuff. And there you go. Yeah, this is uh, this is not so good. I think this Glacian was trying to go onto the wall. It's changed its mind. And they're now going to get charged down. And we can only see, like, Parvik due to bushes. Unless we turn that way. Um, I don't know who's going to win that. You know? I'm going to say the Royal Guard. If these Royal Guard went in there and... Oh, they're going to just keep an eye on these guys. That's not a bad idea. Uh, a nice rally there for the Egyptians on the attack. And they actually, I think, are, yeah. Wow, look, just like that. It's all changed. The uh, I'd say the attackers are now looking a lot better. These Thoros Spears here, though, are not doing so hot. They need to get off the walls of these uh, these ones. But they're still all Peltas up here. Jeez. But yeah, I, I'm going to say Egypt here is going to win that, possibly. I don't know. If that general goes up on the walls, that will change it again. Uh, we've got Cav over here. He's running amok, just trying to do something. If anyone had any elephants so, talking about running amok, that would be huge right now. Um, what's happening here? These shield bearers need killing off. You don't want to lose these archers. Come on, you, know, you need to save every archer possible. Someone send back their cavalry and go and get these guys. Is he seriously sending his general in? That's a foolish, foolish decision. Don't, don't even bother harassing these guys. You're going to lose men when pulling out of this. Uh... Surprisingly, he didn't actually lose a single guy. That was lucky. Knowing it, no, my luck, I'd go and do that, and I'd lose my general. Um, but I mean, yeah, just send some swords out. Just go and kill these guys, and then start pressuring Egypt so he can't go and like reform at will. I'm, he's going to go across this. Oh god, he's going to the final defense already, isn't he? Well, defend this bridge. That's a better spot to defend. Hold this bridge. There's another one over there somewhere, but. I don't know if you can use that one. Oh, no, you definitely can use that one. Um, but here we go. So it looks like the final attack is going to happen um, over here. It's these Royal Peltas. They just need to die. And then Egypt over here claims it. 
A bit balance of power's looking even worse now for the attackers. And I would agree. I don't think they've got enough now. I think... Oh, they're sending the cav in. They're trying, desperately trying to just route some units. Commander. Try and route these ones. These ones here might route. Um, Thor the Galatians here definitely will route soon, I would have thought. Thorax here, 52. They could. I mean, Cryonian Axeman's still the best way to, like, make a difference. Just get your archers focused on those crying axe and they will rout. Um, or the RT. I don't know what happens to this RT. It's been an issue all game. Um, Egypt? Not Egypt. Athens needs to get a move on. Needs to start moving up. I know there's some shield bearers back here doing some issues, but they're gone. You need to start forcing Egypt back to fight you. He seems just to be interested in moving his cav and that's it. Your infantry is going to be what's going to win the battle. Egypt's like here has not got enough. And that's clearly what it's coming over to do. This Egyptian player is coming to help his ally. He's going to come and just double team what's left of Egypt here. Which, I mean, this is a fairly fresh Egyptian army. And there you go. They've beaten those uh, Galatian Royal Guard on the, fl on the ground. And these Royal Pelters are starting to lose now. But they're killing so many of their own, of, uh, of the enemy that it doesn't really matter. It does not really matter at all. The bloody mess. Look at the, just the carpet of dead down there. So many dead on this wall. All Egyptians as well. Uh, yeah, okay. So the cow's going to go after the general. This just won't work. Just nothing's going to come from this. Uh, luckily, like, those two men that just stood there just stopped them. Uh, how many did they kill? Not many. They killed four whole men. I'm killing a few more now, but luckily they pulled out at the same time as the cab, because otherwise it could have been a lot more detrimental. But yeah, I'm charging generals like when they're so fresh, just never like never works. You never get lucky and kill them. They might charge and get these Soros spears though. They, what are they? Uh, they're just they're just chasing these guys down. I mean. Fair enough. Uh, I go after the crying axemen's a better job, and here we go. Finally, the last, uh, like the moving up, is happening. Um, it looks like we're gonna have Thorax swords just chilling back here. Mastodon's just not interested in fighting by the looks of it. He's had enough. He's seen enough dead for one day. Um, they are gonna fall back though. It looks like the generals are gonna try and fall back. They're just gonna abandon this wall here. Um, they might actually win this, you know. Good. Uh, this Egypt here. I was gonna say good Egypt. But it's, it's, that's up to you which one you think is good. It could be the attackers or the good guys, the defenders or the good guys. Very much up to you. Uh, but I think uh, the general here is going to die for Egypt. There's just the numbers not in favor of uh, him. I mean, he's yeah losing slightly now. Yeah, I think he's I think he's a goner. I think this Egypt player has literally had his game literally up on that wall and he's not going to get off that wall. Pikes, though, that could be huge. They've got no counter to them. They've got archers and stuff. Oh, they've got crying and axe movement. Yes, I've got they have jabbies. Um, but yeah, they need to get these pikes engaged. They need to get their archers to fire on these pike uh, on these uh, crying axe movement. If they can kill the, those, the balance power might shoot right back in their favor. But uh, yeah, these pikes are going to be huge. You need to support them, not just leave them here. I'm just watching as they could get dropped. You can just see the shields just dropping. Move them forward, Athens, please, I beg. For the sake of this battle and my sanity, just watching like these pikes do nothing all game. Like the only attacker to bring pikes, and he's not gonna use them, I don't think. Or if he is, he's uh being slow about it. Go in, just attack. I know they might fall back, I know what they're going to do. But you gotta, you gotta just risk it at this point. There's, it's a do or die situation here. These crying axemen are gonna fall back and they're gonna flank on each side. Best thing to do is get these archers up. If they've got ammo, have they, let's look at their... Easy way to look at units is to see if they've got ammo is if they've got their bows out. I'm seeing a lack of bows out. It's just all, all men with swords. Uh, so that's not a good sign. I would certainly be wanting to get the cav round. Get it off this bridge here. Get around. Um, and then, yeah, sort of, and then go after some of these units here. You can certainly do a lot of damage. Force these pikes around. You can always surround these guys. I don't know why they're not engaging. They should certainly engage these Thoros spears. Then they can flank with pikes if necessary. One pike certainly needs to follow that way, and one needs to go this way. 
The cav just goes wherever. That sword could actually be massive. If <laughs> that thorax swords might be needed. Uh, and there you go. Yeah, the Egypt player lost hit lost here. Uh, and these tiny units are going to get back, and that they could also make a difference. Oh, it is very close. Um, I think Athens has got a lot to. I mean, this is good for Athens, I guess. Like these units are just going to get themselves killed. They've isolated themselves from the main force. So there's Thor spears here. I mean, that's 50 men that they might need. I mean, they're killing a lot of archers, though. I mean, they're, but they're out of ammo, so they're kind of just fresh meat. And there you go. The cavalry charges here. That's certainly going to help, and that'll route, route these guys. One, some for all Thor spears off. And there's some, like, Royal Peltas and uh, Glacian Royal Guard here as well. Excellent. Now, swing the pikes round. Trap these guys in here. Trap these guys in this area here because they're just allowing them to go around now. These pikes. Fools. Now this unit committed. Oh, they've got artillery left as well. Egypt still has his artillery. Oh, they should definitely fall back, the defenders. Do not allow this artillery to be used. Right, crying axemen. I swear to God, if they don't close this uh, blob this off here, they can get these crying axemen. I can see what Egypt's going to do. He's going to try and break everything around here, and then these pikes are vulnerable from the rear. But you'd have thought the pikes would turn around at that point. But I mean, come on, please. You're going to catch a few of these guys. But they actually did catch them. Please, Pike. Uh, Athens. Whatever Greek gods are listening, please just trap this crying in Axman. For Zeus. Please. It's the only hope they have is the pikes. I don't know why I'm rooting for the uh, attackers so much. I guess because they've, they've never had the balance power really and truly in their favor. Like the defenders had it in their favor from the start. That's never a good sign, um, really. But yeah, like, I mean, come on. What are you doing with these pikes? Just allowing them to do by. You can now surround them in theory. You can, uh, the general's going around here. Is he just quite happy that he thinks he's going to win it with his cav? I think the pikes are the only way you're going to win this. Nothing to stop them. Where are they taking damage from? They're getting shot by someone. Taking fire. Yeah, he's going to move. Is he actually going to go for the capture point? He is, isn't he? He's going to go for the capture point and then camp with the pikes. I don't think that's going to be... I don't think that's going to work. I think this will break before then. I mean, he's got his general as well. So as long as he's got the general and a couple of units alive, he should do okay. But yeah, you can see the general here has realized what's going to happen. I guess now the pikes can... Yeah, the, oh, yeah. Okay. Very clever. Very clever. I didn't think about that. Right, he's going to go for the cap point. He's going to hold here with the pikes. And, yeah. The uh, Egyptians have been duped. I don't think they can... And all he has to do is dismount this cav. Oh, unless this cav gets shot by all the towers in the way. Quite a possibility. But, yeah, I presume this is the main capture point here. In this, like, citadel. How many of them are alive? Twelve. It might be enough. I definitely hold the far side of the uh, bridge. Oh, how many left? Eleven. Get inside. Get inside. There's only one. Oh, did they destroy this tower? I don't know. But yeah, go and camp over here. Uh, away from any towers in this far corner. Dismount. And then you can start capturing this. They, this won't capture it, I don't think. You need to dismount. I could be wrong. That could just be a tiller. Um, but I'd definitely be wanting to get... Yeah, the general's going to break. Oh, no. Oh, no. They definitely shouldn't have sent the general. They should have sent, like, the full unit of Hippias Lancers. Or, like, the stronger one. But, yeah, I mean, that's going to be it, I think. I think Egypt's going to win. Only just because Athens' generals died, they were routed. These pikes won't hold. Uh, yeah, that's that would have been what I would have done. Put one pike unit here. Have the general just, like, I don't know, run off over here with, to join the uh, Macedonians. And then just send the pikes in. They can do the job. Don't need to. One pike unit's enough. This Glacian Royal Guard's now got to deal with it. Oh, this is uh, certainly a bit of an issue <laughs> for uh, Egypt. I don't think he's got... I don't know. I, are they got enough time like to do it? I mean, like how much time's left? They could go there, they could cap it, and they, the time could start, but... At the same time, at any moment, these two pikes could just break because there's nothing else left. Like, apparently there's nothing else on the map, but there is. It's all just hidden. There's a lot of Egyptians left. I think they'll just get their javis very close and they'll just start shooting them, won't they? And here we go. 
I can hear horses. But there's no horsemen left here. They're all dead. Um, but yeah, here we go. Pikes, they'll cap this. And they won't have an issue because they're infantry. I believe it is just infantry that can do it. And cavalry can get it to halfway and then they have to dismount or something like that. Yeah, it's just going to be a standoff. I think uh, Egypt knows what's going to happen. I'm just going to fast forward for the sake of the video now. There's real no real need to just... Uh, just watch as a standoff happens. Uh, but yeah, so there you go. Athens... Oh, is that Egypt? Oh, I guess it's Egypt getting it risen because that, Egypt must have been the first player. So that's very confusing. We're going to have it... They're bringing down an Egyptian banner and then a... Uh, an Egyptian banner goes up. So yeah, there you go. They're gonna... I guess they've got no choice now but to charge into... Charge in here. Yeah, I think... They might do it. They might just concede my uh, Egypt knowing that he can't get round. I don't know. It's 30. We've got like not many uh, seconds left on the clock. It's going to be... In it is going to be insanely close. If this is how they're going to win it, uh, Athens, that's a very, very cheesy way. Oh no! They're both wavering. Oh no! Seriously, at the last second. Yeah, they both broke. Oh no! Jeez, costly enemy victory for uh, the Egyptians and Seleucids. But I mean, and that was a well, was such a great idea by uh, Athens. I mean, uh, this was sent in by Nicholas uh, Christoy. So I mean, uh, well done to him. I mean, un well, unlucky to him. He was. I I don't think playing as Athens was a great idea. I think it would have been a much more success to be played as more of a sword orientated faction. Um, personally. Uh, his calf did well though, 205 kills, he got uh, 120 kills with his picked up lights. But you can see like his swords did so much better and these guys cost a lot more picked up lights. I mean the, his thorax would have cost a lot to upgrade to this much. Uh, but 235 you can see there, they did so much better. His pikes uh, I think needed to get into combat a lot quicker and they could have done a lot of damage. They could have killed this crying axeman off, I think. Uh, and then they could have just probably done a chain route, possibly. Um, and then we'll quickly look at Cho, who was playing as the Egyptian player, who was fighting on the walls the entire time. 210 with his general. Um, his uh, Glacial Guard getting 244. Excellent. And then his uh, Royal Thorax getting 155 as well. And his Archer getting 170, uh, one, which is pretty good as well. And then uh, and then Masson here, who was... Uh, he did okay as well, actually. I mean, he got 133 kills with his Greek Honors, just not bad. 145 with his uh, Mercy Recruiting Archers, and his Thorax got 117. But he just got rinsed. Again, he brought a lot of spears, just not a good idea. I don't think playing Mastodon on the attacks either is a great idea. Then we have uh, Wet Bix here, who's uh, playing as the Egyptian army with the Crownian Axeman General. Um, his uh, Glacial Guard here, the best one, getting 213. Actually, 298, even better. His uh, Royal Pass is getting 100 kills. And his uh, Thoros Spear is getting 101, and his Thorax is getting 115. Then Sanka here, who is playing as the uh, other one, the Egyptian army that's facing the uh, Cho. Uh, 229 with his Royal uh, Glacier Royal Guard. Um, his Light Pelos is getting 119 kills, better than any of his Cretan archers. Um, and his Royal Thorax Sword is getting 146. Nothing else really of note. And then we've got Zhang here who was playing as uh, the Seleucids. 144 with his Greek Scorpion. Uh, he got 110 kills with his uh, Syrians, Syrian Archers. And then he got 155 with his Shield Bearers. A lot of spears being brought in this. I mean, it's more understandable by the Seleucids, but I still think like swords just bring more swords. Silver Shields here, 149. And... Uh, that's kind of it of notice. Pikes didn't do that great. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed uh, this siege, please do leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave uh, a comment to show your support. I hope you guys enjoyed Siege Week. Um, we did get some really interesting ones in there this time, and uh, I'm sure we'll be doing some more Siege Weeks in the near future. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.